All right, this is for you Illinois land surveyors running TBC and to get, gather some LIDAR data. So first thing I wanna do is open up TBC. I'm running 5.40, was just released this week. I'm gonna select new project. Gonna come down to US survey foot. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch this from default, I'm gonna click down here in the bottom right. And I wanna select change. And I'm going to change it to Illinois West 1202. That's the zone I'm working in today. Click finish, select okay. And I'm gonna turn this grid off because I don't care to see it right now. So then I'm gonna jump out to Microsoft Edge. Um, I've tried this link with Google uh, Chrome and it just doesn't like it very well. So as far as the downloading goes. So I'll post this link down below in the description. So when this comes up, I wanna to go to viewer and then it will display the state and some instructions, we can close that. But then we just zoom into the county that we're working. I know I'm working in McDonough County and I wanna zoom into my area. So then you see these dark squares. And if I select inside there, they light up cyan. Then it prompts me for the LAS to download. LAS is that point cloud file that we need. So I'm gonna select that and it'll download. And then I'm gonna click on this one here too, because I'm right next door. I'm working right here in the middle. Click on the LAS and download. So after that, I can close that. Let's minimize mine. And so now once I have them, I can just drag and drop this LAS into this TBC and it brings up this point cloud scale. So I know it's geo-referenced and I want it to scale to the project coordinate system. So I'm gonna select this one here because I want it to be in Illinois West I say okay. There brings in the first one. And then here is the second one. And as you bring them in, they become one entity point cloud. So now if I'm down here in the view filter manager and if this isn't selected or if it doesn't show up already, then look for this little funnel icon here in the top row, which is right here. And I can scroll down here and it's already separated in cloud regions. So I can turn off default, low point and unclassified. So I'm just left with the ground. So what I wanna do before I go any further, I want to import some GPS points um, that are checkpoints. So bringing these ground shots in, change this to Northern Easting Unknown, import. And I can zoom back in there so I can see this point from the cloud versus my shot point. So if I'm again from the home tab, select measure distance, go from four to that point there. And it tells me my vertical is three hundredths at 1.7 feet away. Same way if I go to number nine, check nine, my vertical seven hundredths. Not bad for LIDAR data. So I can close this. I'm comfortable with that. I pick my left click on my point cloud, then go to the point clouds tab. Now I want to sample from sample region. I'm gonna space those points out so I can build the uh, contours. So now I just sample this, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna make my spacing five feet, but I want a five foot prefix on there. So five foot, and I'm gonna store. And as you saw, it just populated a new point cloud region right here and turned off the old one. So if I turn off the 
five oh grid. There's the ground I had. So I can close this. I can left click on that point cloud again, go to surfaces, create surface. And here I'm just going to name it select OK. And you can see it sh shaded to gray. So now I can turn off my 5 0 ground, jump to Project Explorer here at the bottom, and drop down my surfaces, select my EG, it brings up the properties. And if you have this closed, if you just select it and then right click, you can go to properties. And we can change the color by elevation, same way here. So now if I pick, actually see it light up. What I want to do, I want to see it in 3D. So the top row here, I have a 3D icon, which opens another tab here. Now I can go in there and I can pan around. So let's create some contours. So now if I select that, and then if I do a right click, I can go to create quick contours. Create contours, there's my surface. If we had multiple surfaces in there, contour interval, we're going one foot because it's relatively flat through here. And layer, space bar to create a new layer. Let's kind of call this LIDAR G. And I want this to be gray. And I want to make it 0.2. I can close that. Now if I hit OK, then you can see how they show up here. Then when you see the ditch lines, you can see that creek line. And then if I hold down the shift and control and use my wheel, I can exaggerate that scale if I wanted to, if I want to see it. I can go back down to vertical exaggeration of one. And at the same time, if I want to do a surface slice through here, at the top here, there's a surface slicer. Or if I'm under surfaces, I can use the surface slicer view, which basically opens up a cutting plane. So I can come up here, I can click anywhere in that model, and then drag across. Then you can see that dip. Same way if you want to do a vertical exaggeration, again, hold down the control and shift and use your scroll wheel to go up to adjust that grid, that scale factor. And anywhere I pick, we close that surface slicer, go back to our plan view if you want. At any time, we can turn this view, this surface off. And we're left with just our contours. If you have a Trimble ID account set up and it's this icon up here is not grayed out, then we can come down here. If we have Survey Intermediate, select this toggle background maps image next to your units. And this will load the map for Street View. Or if we go back to the Project Explorer and select the project and then go to Type under Properties, we can go to Digital Globe Imagery. And now we're able to see this the way we want to. And it, it continuously loads. So I could just keep painting for miles and it would still load. But this is how you use the free LIDAR information for the state of Illinois. Um, it works the same way for Illinois East um, or anywhere that you're looking to get, get that information. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to 
shoot me an email, drop me a text, whatever you prefer. Thanks for watching.